Hey movie fans, hope everybody's doing great. Summer is just such a fun time for movies. We're kind of wrapping up the summer here now as we're getting into August. I've just been blown away by the box office. I mean, what Disney did last year in the box office was incredible, but it's even pacing ahead of that right now. It's just crazy to think. Uh, just looking at it, domestic box office speaking, this 2019 for Disney is just amazing. Uh, already at 2.7 billion dollars in the domestic box office, quickly approaching last year's 3 billion, and it still has big movies coming like a Maleficent 2, Frozen 2, and then of course Star Wars Episode 9. So plenty of legs still under them to go with with just those three movies coming out the rest of the year. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, like really, wow! As you look at this year. Uh, five of the top six movies so far this year are all from Disney. Um, no other no other movies crossed the two hundred million dollar mark so far uh, than those top six, and they're all over three hundred million. So it's just incredible, uh, almost unbelievable. And like I said, five of those top six. The the one that Disney doesn't have, really, you could say is like thanks to Disney, right? I'm talking about Spider Man: Far From Home which is doing great, uh, super successful, but uh, produced, released through Sony, not Disney because of that Spider-Man deal. Uh, but really, I think that success is definitely attributed to what Spider-Man has done with the MCU to make that so successful and lucrative, really. So just just crazy. You, you could argue all six of them, right? Oh, man. Endgame. <clears throat> right around 858 million dollars domestically uh, second biggest movie of all time but also need to point out that it did beat uh, Avatar in the worldwide box office to become the number one movie of all time worldwide so that's that's huge um, the newest one Lion King is already at number two with 473 looking like it's gonna take uh, Beauty and the Beast spot and it's the number one of those live action remakes, reimaginings that Disney's been doing. Um, Captain Marvel, 427. Toy Story 4, right around the $420 million mark. Uh, just too cool. <laughs> so cool. And then uh, Aladdin, $353 million. So these are just such big movies. Uh, such a big deal with what's going on. You, you even could look at Dumbo, it's in the top 15. I'd say it has a shot of ending the year in the top 20. Uh, that could happen um, with 115 million dollars domestically speaking. So, so I mean, what do you what do you say about these live action remakes or or these redos that that Disney's been doing? Um, do we like them? Do do we feel like we need them? Uh, personally, I think they're kind of cool. I think it's great uh, seeing. Seeing a new take, uh, putting a new spin on it, bringing back a story and telling it anew and, and maybe giving it to a new audience in, in, in a new way. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but I also kind of find it ironic when people get like upset and are mad about them calling it a cash grab. Um, no, I, yeah, whatever. But like to me, it just seems ironic because isn't that the whole point of a business? But you must remember that this is a business. A glamorous business, yes, but still a business. It's like a movie studio to make money <laughs> and to put out their movies that audiences are going to want to go see, that they're going to be willing to invest the money and the time in. Um, so, I mean, yeah, of course. Of course it's what they're doing. And, and it seems like they're definitely not going to be going away just based on those numbers. But let's let's look at just these three we've had so far this year. Um, when you look at it through the worldwide box office, like look at what they're doing. The Lion King is already at 1.3 billion dollars in the worldwide box office. It's huge. Aladdin also broke a billion dollars. Um, just amazing. And and Dumbo 352 million in the worldwide box office. Also probably going to end up in the top 20 for the year. Um, just just crazy. So. Amazing numbers, studio, Disney is way on top, way ahead of everybody else. And uh, no, I don't think it's going away. They, they keep producing these movies that are bringing in 
the big bucks. So, I don't know. That's that. I, I think it's just astounding to look at these numbers and see it kind of kind of a little uh, thing that I enjoy. It's just fascinating to me to look at these box office numbers and see what movies are doing. But, but yeah, so what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Do you, do you like the live action remakes? Do you like taking these stories and, and starting them again and bringing them out again? Um, tell me what you think. I, I think they're cool. Those are my thoughts. And business-wise, yeah, it's pretty smart. So, all right, guys. Thanks for checking it out.